Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Cook It. Today is Sunday. It is about uh, 8 o'clock, just a little bit after 8. Uh, what I'm going to make for you today, uh, this is one of the dishes I'm going to make today, is hash brown casserole in the crock pot. Now, usually you can uh, usually see this made in the oven. Uh, I've made it in the crock pot before. You just have to put it on low and cook it for about four hours. And I'm also going to get a chance to use this crock pot that I found at the Goodwill that I showed you guys the other day. So um, what I'm going to be using is the Southern Style Hash Browns. Um, it works best for the crock pot recipe. You can use the shredded ones, but they do tend to get a little bit mushy. Those do better in the oven. Um, like I said, I'm going to use the, the cubed Southern Style Hash Browns. Uh, you're also going to use two cups of shredded cheese. I'm going to use sharp cheddar because I like the taste. I think it really gives it an extra little zip and zing with that. And I'm going to be using two cans of cream of celery soup with one can of milk added to that. You can use any kind of cream soup you want. Cream of chicken, uh, cream of potato, you can use that. Cream of broccoli, cream of whatever you want. Uh, I just like the celery, celery soup because I think it just, just tastes better. This is a pretty basic recipe and it's gonna to come together pretty quick for you. Um, I've already got the uh, crock pot sprayed with cooking spray. Uh, you can also use one of those crock pot liners that does make uh, cleanup really easy. I've used them before, but today I'm just gonna use the cooking spray. I think it's gonna be just fine. And I'm also gonna mix everything up in the crock pot that uh, keeps you from durying um, a bowl and extra stuff that you have to wash later. All right, so I'm going to put the camera down here on the crock pot. All right, there it is. You can see it's already been sprayed. This is the two pound bag of potatoes that I'm going to put in a crock pot. And they're still a little bit frozen. I recommend um, using them from frozen so they don't get too mushy. All right, just kind of stir those up a little bit. Break them up because they are going to stick together just a little bit. Okay, so this is the two cans of cream of celery soup with one can of milk. And I did put it in the microwave um, just to get it uh, warmed up. That's going to make stirring this whole mixture a lot easier. So once you get the soup in there with the potatoes... Give that a good stir. All right. Now comes the two cups of shredded cheese. And give that a stir. Now I've also seen different variations of this recipe. You can use smoked sausage cut up. Uh, I've seen people put uh, regular sausage in this hamburger, any kind of meat. Ham is good. I've had it that way. It's a real hearty dish. And I think this is going to be perfect for uh, today because it's kind of cold outside. This weather's been really crazy. Last week uh, we were wearing shorts. Today uh, we're wearing long sleeve shirts and long pants and, you know, trying to stay warm. Okay. So just get that stirred up, stir it up as much as you want or don't want, whatever you like. Now you don't really have to make sure the cheese is all incorporated in there when you stir it because it's going to melt anyway. And you're going to give it a little stir after it's done uh, just to, you know, get everything mixed up just the way you want it. Now, okay, kind of tap it down like that. Now I'm gonna add some of these spices. This is some dehydrated onion, some seasonings uh, I got from one of my friends that sells Pampered Chef, and just a little bit of uh, ground up salt. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit salty anyway because of that soup. So as I've said before, I don't like to use a whole lot of salt in recipes. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this in, just like that. Give it another little stir. Make sure the seasonings are all incorporated. All right. <clears throat> okay, I think that looks pretty good. 
All right, so now what I'm gonna to add to the top of this is some uh, ground pepper. Not a whole lot, although I am really love pepper. I'd like to just cut the whole thing, but I don't wanna make it too spicy. So just grind some pepper on there, like this. I like pepper in just about anything. Okay, well, that's about it. You've got your potatoes, your soup, your milk, your cheese, uh, any spices you like, just put them all together, stir them up, put them in the crock pot. Now, I'm gonna put the lid on. It's got these little clamps here. I'm not gonna clamp that down. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is, cause you know, even though it's got a vent hole in it, there's no need to clamp it down. That's just for when you're gonna travel with it. The crock pot has already been set to low. And so we're just gonna wait about four hours or so. And then we're gonna dig into this. Now, as I said before, there is another dish that I'm gonna be making to go with this. Um, I'm pretty excited to try it because it looks really good. I've seen this recipe before um, and I'm gonna make it. And I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. And I hope you guys like it too. All right, I'm gonna go for now. I'm going to leave the crock pot here and come back in about four hours or so, check on it. We're going to eat this and we're going to have, you know, a really good meal today. All right, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day until I see you in just a little bit with another video of the main dish I'm going to make. Okay, I'm going to say it. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to taste good. Everybody have a wonderful day and I'll see you in a few hours. Bye for now.